All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today is OG Yu-Gi-Oh day. So uh, we are going to be pretty much addressing uh, what Battle City Finals. Mm -hmm. So of course we're gonna uh, Red Eyes is being taken off of Monday Lord of Red. So Joey, and then we're gonna be putting on Blue Eyes for Daily Duel. So then that's Kaiba, and then we're gonna go ahead and review uh, some Moon Dragon Raw from Merrick. So no Yu-Gi. <laughs> Let's just put him here for that trash ass box he tried to sell us. <laughs> so we're gonna be looking at Wing Dragon of Raw, God Phoenix, and then we're also gonna be looking at Sphere Mode because uh, I didn't, I never did a card review for Sphere Mode, and it's kind of hard to go over uh, Phoenix Mode if you don't talk about Sphere Mode as well. So uh, Wing Dragon of Raw, uh, God Phoenix Mode. So it seems like Wing Dragon of Raw is getting some extra shit to make it better. He's since... getting all his forms from the anime because you remember he went to that in the anime. Yeah, yeah just to make up for his crappiness. Yeah, for his crappy ass crappy. Yeah, he's not the good Andy can't be supposed to summon. Like, oh my god. So, uh, he's getting some additional form. So, hopefully, this will go ahead and make up for it. So, you guys are getting the two for one in this card of you. So, enjoy. So, Wing Dragon Raw, God Phoenix is a divine. Alright. Divine Beast, <laughs> Effect Monster, level 10. So, that mounted the brown, brown town gown trader. Even though I don't think it really needs it. But we'll go over that when we go over to the fact. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, you know, when John Morales just loves being 4,000. Uh, the effect reads, cannot be normal summon or set. Understandable. Must be special summoned by its own effect and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Okay. So no call, bitches. Nope, no call. Even if it's summoned properly, no bringing it back. Only through its own effect. If the Winged Dragon of Raw is sent from the field to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's probably my biggest gripe about this freaking card. Anyway, moving on. Uh, neither player can activate card or effects in response to this card, uh, this effect's activation, alright? And is unaffected by other card effects. So, yeah, you don't really need a nine in the bound when you're just unaffected by everything. 4,000 freaking <laughs> uh, towers. We already know when you're unaffected by almost everything or pretty much everything, you know how OP you are, you know? He says that towers is bad. This is 4,000 and unaffected by everything. So, it's gonna be a tough one, but uh, they do have an exchange for this powerfulness. You can pay 1,000 life points, send one monster from the field to the graveyard, which is kind of like Wing Dragon Raw. Wing Dragon Raw says you pay 1,000 life points to destroy a monster. They're sent. Yeah, so, which is better. Which is better. Mm -hmm. Which is better. You know, Wing Dragon Raw also loves to do that. Um, and then the last like during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard. And if you do special summon the Wing Dragon Raw Sphere Mode from your hand deck or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, yeah. So, of course, we're going to go over uh, Sphere Mode as well. You know, this card actually got revealed and came out in English by the time yeah. that I freaking did a review. So, you know, unlike usual in card review where I'd, I just give you the Japanese card art and you're like, well, the card art, but I don't know what it does. I can't read it. Then you have to read the description. You have to wait for me to tell you. You can actually read this one. So this is when you're Raw Sphere Mode. Divine Beast. Uh, Divine, Divine Beast effect. Level 10, question mark attack, question mark defense. Uh, cannot be special summoned, but of course, Phoenix ignores summoning conditions, so it can be special summoned by Phoenix. Uh, requires three chimneys from either side of the field to normal summon to that side of the field. It cannot be normal set. All right. Then shift control to this card's owner, being you, because you are the card's owner. Even if the even if you tribute three monsters on your opponent's side of the field and they control it, you still own it. So it's choice path and control to you during the end phase of the next turn. This card cannot attack. All right. <laughs> I don't think you plan on attacking with it. It has question mark attack. And it says question mark. It's original attack points are zero for you guys that didn't know. Yeah, so <laughs> so you can't attack with it even if you think that you want to. Like, no. Uh, this card cannot target... You, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks or by card effects. All right. You contribute this card to publish summon one wing dragon raw from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So once again, so this makes a wing dragon raw can be special summoned. And... And if you do, its attack and defense become 4,000. So, once again, Wing Dragon Raw. So, it's just Fear Mode, Wing Dragon Raw, Phoenix Mode. Phoenix Mode goes back to Sphere Mode. Fear Mode goes Wing Dragon Raw. You just go rinse and loop it. You loop it. That's pretty much what you want to do. Uh, and it seems perfectly, totally fine. You know, you just tribute three monsters either on your side or your opponent. So, it's kind of like a super big lava golem because you're tributing three monsters. Then you get control of it. And then you just tribute off for Wing Dragon Raw. And then uh, when... Uh, Wing Dragon Raw. So if Wing Dragon Raw sent from the field to the graveyard, while well, this card Phoenix Mode is in your graveyard, you summon it. So then Wing Dragon Raw, <laughs> Wing Dragon Raw dies. You get Phoenix Mode, and Phoenix Mode will summon back your uh, Sphere Mode. So it's all like, fine and dandy. It's just one big complaint. My one biggest gripe in this whole freaking trilogy synergy loop and shit. Phoenix Mode has to be in the graveyard. 
That is dumb. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to get this in the graveyard? Foolish. I don't even want foolish. <laughs> like, I know is I I know this is probably a big one to ask for, but when you made this card, why can't I summon it from my hand? There's a phoenix. It's already bad enough that I I can dead draw the shit out of this. Why can't I summon it from my hand? Because it's a phoenix. No, I don't want to hear that shit. That's some bullshit. This fucking sucks that if you draw this shit, it's pretty much stuck in your hand. Unless you have something to discard. Thank like, like God for Twin Twister, right? Yeah, like I said, you're going to have to go Twin Twister. You're going to have to go fucking all out. Fucking Dark Wheel dealings. Get this shit in the graveyard ASAP. Yeah. Because you can't do shit with it in your hand. Mm -hmm. Chain is banned. All right. Foolish is at one. Mm -hmm. It's too high for Mathematician, which is also at one. And it just says... Summon from the graveyard. It's like, I get it to Phoenix. I get it, but why? You only run one of them. Why? You, you run one of them because it recycles itself. You run one, discard. You run your Twin Twisters, and you're foolish. And Good. But then you got to hope that you draw it. Hey, number generator. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you got to hope that you freaking draw it. So, <laughs> the struggle is just really, I just kind of wish you could summon it from your hand. Like I said, you're already risking the fact that you can dead draw it. You're already risking, you're, you're trying to draw all of the Winged Dragon Raw since they're all really high and hard to summon without their own uh, means. So, why can't you just summon it from the hand? If Winged Dragon Raw sent from the field to the graveyard while this card is in your hand or graveyard, special summon this card. Like, it would have been much better, much simpler, and I could actually justify going through all these extremes, but... That's just my biggest cramp. Right. Why can't you summon it from the hand? Just like, phoenix. I don't want to hear that <laughs> fucking bullshit ass excuse. Do you know That's what some a phoenix fucking is? Shit. I know what a phoenix is, okay. but it's still some fucking bullshit that I'm going to dead draw the shit out of this in my fucking Wing Dragon Raw deck and I can't even summon it. Thank God for Tone Twister. <laughs> just thank God for it. Alright. But, I mean, it's nice and juicy and that whole, you know, end phase, it's gone. You know, it's sent to the graveyard. I mean, like I said, it's a nice little loop. It's just, that that's my biggest gripe. You know, being a 4,000 breeder that's unaffected by other card effects. And, the you know, you can just be like, Wing Dragon of Raw, pay a 1,000 destroy. And then it gets sent to the graveyard. And you can be like, pay a 1,000 send. So, that's not too terrible. And, so of course, sending is better than destroying. You know, I'd much rather send your Dark Destroyer than destroy you. But exactly. I can't target you anyway. So, <laughs> but this doesn't target. No, it doesn't target. I think Wing Dragon Raw targets. I think you target one monster, your opponent controls and destroy it. While this just says pay a thousand, send one monster on the field to the graveyard. So this doesn't target, so. But it's at 4,000, so Dank Destroyer can suck my dick. Yeah, Dark Destroyer, Dank Destroyer can't even pop you. For real. The 4,000 unaffected by card effects, mm -hmm. just, it just happens to be that you're just during the end, the end phase. So even if you somehow summon this during your opponent's turn, which seems plausible, you know, if you have Wing Dragon Raw and destroy. Or sent to the graveyard during your opponent's turn, you can go ahead and summon this, and then during the end phase, including yours or your opponent's, this card's gone. So you get one good turn out of it, and then rinse and repeat. So then back to Shear Mode, then Shear Mode will summon Wing Dragon of Raw, and then, you know, rinse and repeat. It's kind of like Ebel. It's a backup. It's a backup. <laughs> exactly like Ebel. It's a backup. I like the fact that it's a backup, you know, because that's all you gotta do. Just, okay. It's gonna make them think twice about destroying your Wing Dragon of Raw, because, like, shit, they got Phoenix Mode in the graveyard, and it's gonna keep looping me. Yep, so, so I respect you, Wing Dragon Raw. You, you're actually my favorite Egyptian god card out of the three. Slifer all day. No, I don't no. like Slifer. No, Slifer all day. Because I don't really like Yugi. I'm not on speaking blasphemy. Go home. I don't like Yugi. I don't really this like This man Slifer. does not like Yugi. Go home. I don't really like Yugi. Go home. Nah. <laughs> so, so, when I saw Wing Dragon Raw, I was like, oh, yeah, cool. And it was the first Egyptian god card I actually got the card of. And it was so cool, even though I couldn't play it, even though I fucking lied to the kids and everyone yeah, said I could. Okay, okay, okay. everybody did that. Uh, You're not the only one. Everyone did that. When them original cards that came out and it said, can I be using them to do it, everybody put their finger over that. <laughs> like, and, you, and you know you used the effects from the anime. I did. Yeah, too. I'll use the effects from the, the anime. anime. <laughs> Unreal. So you're not the only one. So uh, there you go, people. So tell me what you guys think about Phoenix Mode and I guess Sierra Mode as well. Uh, I said it's just not bad. I like the little looping and the little floatiness, and it's, it, it seems if, interesting. If you can come up with better combos to do the graveyard faster, let us know at the bottom. Yeah, please tell us, cause fucking foolish. Yeah. That's the only one. That's yeah. the only I only got one. So, mm -hmm. so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Uh, thanks, Renny, for joining me. I guess. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, enjoy your original Yu-Gi-Oh day without Yu-Gi, because I don't really like him. Go home. <laughs> dare you say that? His name is in the title. All right. On Daily Duels, do you see a fucking Dark Magician deck? Nah. Do you see a fucking BLS deck? Nah. Do you see a fucking uh, Buster Blade deck? Nah. You know why? Because I don't like Yugi. <laughs>
<laughs> you say all day. It's not called you say <laughs> What's the first? It thing? should be called you say oh. You. Yeah. It's not even called oh. you. It's called Duel Monsters. I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, their game is called Duel Monsters. <laughs> They're like, oh, we gotta base the card game on the fucking TV show. We're not gonna fucking call it Duel Monsters, Duel Masters, uh -huh. Kajito, you know, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we off subject. End the video. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, people.